Hello everyone, my name is Anna and I welcome you to my home. I cannot wait to meet my today's friend, beautiful Ghazal Alhavasli, the general manager of the Fee Club, famous Purple House. Everybody knows about the Fee Club, the place which is full of exciting activities, talented students and most importantly, amazing teachers. And I think she is already here. Hi Ghazal, how are you? Hi, Anna. It's so good to see you. I'm Lovely so happy you. that you make some time to visit my home. Thank so you so much. It's you. a pleasure. Thank and you it's a pleasure for me. So you're very welcome. Thank Come you. On. So yeah, how do you like my kitchen? It's amazing. I know that the Fig Club is famous for its kitchen and decorations and activities. So yes, we use the wood, but I love the white here and the gray. It's very amazing. Thank you. Your feedback <laughs> is very important. Thank All you. right, so have a seat. Thank you feel like you are at home. Oh, thank you. Take your first now. Uh, some water. I know that it's really hot outside. It is Even so hot. Even though we're recording in the evening. I know, right? but it's still hot. <laughs> but I'm happy the summer is almost over. Yes, it is. Well, one month more, I think. I hope. <laughs> yeah. So, Gazelle, everybody here in Erbil knows you as the face and the soul of the Fee Club. And I always wanted to ask you, how did you find Fit Club for uh, yourself in the city and um, what inspired you to join the team. So can you please tell us more about it? Well, uh, when I came to Erbil, that was almost like nine years ago, uh, my daughter was two, uh, two and a half years old, so the little one. So uh, this is when me and uh, the founder of the Fit Club, Ms. Sophia Miran, met. Uh, we used to get our uh, girls to play together in a, like a play date. So this is when we get introduced to each other and we thought that there is something like common between us. Uh, she was the inspiration to be honest. Uh, sh she's an amazing person. Uh, she's very creative. She's very talented. Uh, she's very passionate also. Uh, she's a teacher of ballet and yoga and she used to give these classes even before we opened the Fit Club. And then she approached me and she suggested that we open uh, a center under the name of the Fit Club, the Purple House. Uh, it was a little bit challenging for me because I didn't have that much experience um, and that much a background of uh, uh, the artistic part. So uh, yeah, it was a difficult decision, but she really encouraged me. And uh, we felt this common passion between us. Uh, my passion also towards kids, towards art. Uh, so yeah, we decided to go for it. We started looking for the location of the Fit Club. This is how it all started. And then we found one and we started working on it. So you said that you've been here for nine years already. Yes. And then uh, when did you guys open the Fit Club? We opened the Fit Club in uh, 2014, in October. Uh, we started in Vital Village, but like a year ago we moved to Dream City. It's also an amazing place. We are planning to grow uh, more, yes. so this is why we decided to go for Dream City, and it's really nice there, and we're loving it also. Yeah, and I've been to this location, and then I highly recommend everybody to visit the place as well. Thank you. We still haven't been there. And look, so as I understood, your children basically inspired you uh, and Miss Sophia to start something for kids here, because in Erbil you barely find a place like that. Yes. So it's true. either kindergarten or school, but uh, there are not so many places where you can do the after-school activities, uh, especially those which the Fit Club is offering. So uh, this is understood. Basically, like when you have demand for something, you, you search for it, and then if you don't find, you just go and create it. And exactly. This is really impressive <laughs> and amazing. But again, why the Fig Club? Why, why did you choose the purple color and this particular fruit? To be honest, it was inspired by Miss Sophia. Okay. Uh, it's her favorite color. It's also my favorite color, but that was a coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> um, and she wanted the name for so long, but she didn't get the chance to do it. But when she came to Erbil and she uh, found out that this place really needs a center like this for the kids. Yeah. So we decided to go for it. 
And then she also came up with the idea of having the ladies' classes in the evening, where you know, in the evening the kids go to bed, so the center is empty. Why not use this time for yes. the ladies to come and relax and enjoy themselves and work out a little bit? So uh, also, to me, the fig is the fruit of the Middle East. Yes, it is. And, and it's, it's uh, the healthiest fruit also. And so pretty much so delicious as well. A, yes, delicious <laughs> and healthy for a healthy center. Yeah. All right, Gazal, so a lot of people know you here, right? And But not everybody knows where you're from because you look differently. You don't look like a girl from here, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm not from here. Uh, well, I feel home here in uh, Kurdistan and I really thank the people here because they really made me feel home. But originally, I'm from Syria. Uh, this is where my life started. Uh, I lived with my parents and brothers there. And uh, I graduated from uh, Damascus University uh, in the English department. So, uh, yeah, I graduated from the English Literature University. Um, I worked for a Nokia company for three years. That's why I, did, I wasn't sure that working for the Fit Club is my uh, thing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I worked for Nokia company in the customer care uh, department. I was in the call center, then I was promoted to be the customer care manager. Um, yeah, so it's totally like two different departments, but at the same time, dealing with customers in that company helped me a lot to uh, learn uh, how to uh, manage all sort of people, all backgrounds, all, uh, you know, you meet different people, people with different manners, different backgrounds, different nationalities, different cultures. So, uh, yeah, that helped me also. So the culture here is diverse indeed, and True. dealing with everybody who has different interests is pretty much complicated, True. but you manage that well, as you're saying. Um, everything you do in life before, right, helps you to lead the journey ahead. Exactly, exactly. So it wasn't easy, but it was challenging, and this challenge really gives you the motivation to, to give more, to prove yourself. Uh, and to be honest, the country helps because it, it feels really comfortable with the, with the people here. We really yeah. felt the support uh, from everyone. And... Uh, yeah, it was, it was really great to start in this amazing country that has all these varieties of nationalities in it. And also you said that your family supported you um, big time when you were not True. really sure if you can hand, handle that. And this is also True. important. Uh, well, my parents supported me a lot because they really thought that it's amazing to do something for the kids. They always thought that uh, there, there should be... Uh, something that inspired these kids to, to help them fight their talents. Uh, my husband also had a big role pushing me to climb the ladder of success because uh, he really believed that this also is needed here, and especially for our kids to be part of it. And uh, also, by time you feel like every single kid that comes into the center is like your own child. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, yeah, all these were inspirations to keep going to, to build this place and make it grow. And I cannot wait to hear about uh, your projects uh, with the Fit Club, your annual concerts and the summer camp which you have, and then also classes and teachers. But first, coffee. I know oh, that you like coffee, so I'm going to get you some. I do, thank right. you. <laughs> okay, just one second and you'll have it. Thanks. Need help? No, it's all here, it's all ready. Uh, thank you it's so all much. Prepared. Here yeah. you go. Amazing, thank you. All right, so yeah, let's talk about the projects, the classes, the teachers, and um, because I know the Fit Club is pretty much uh, famous place, everybody knows about it, but still not uh, all the details are sometimes available, so yes. let's um, learn about that. Well, the Fit Club, let me speak shortly about what is and what, what we yes. do in it. So it's an activity center for uh, the kids and the ladies. Uh, we do ballet and gymnastic classes. Uh, we hold art classes, drama. Um, on the first year, we decided that this uh, city needs also like theater shows. So Ms. Sophia suggested that we go for theater programs. And this is when we started producing shows. We held uh, five shows so far, and we're planning to hold the sixth one. Uh, inshallah in 2022 if the COVID situation yeah, was yeah. better. 
So, Rosa, I know that last year, uh, due to the situation, you still managed to perform for the parents, but mm -hmm. you did it in your uh, the Fit Club yard. Yeah, so you we, built some stage. we trained the kids. Uh, we didn't stop during COVID. We were just taking all the precautions needed. Uh, we did all that uh, that is important to make sure that these kids are safe. Um, so, but after working hard with them, we really thought that the, the parents also uh, deserve to see how their kids have um, progressed. Yes. So this is when we decided that we should have a small theater. We built one in the garden of the Fit Club and we invited all the parents to come and watch. A friend of mine, uh, she has a little daughter. Uh, my, my friend's name is Luisa, right? And, and her daughter is Leona. Oh uh, yeah, Leona is in gymnastics and uh, also she's doing piano classes. And I see, I see the progress and improvement and she's just amazing. She's and then amazing. she's loving it. So, you know, when I, when I see someone I know personally and I see how the kids are changing, I uh, can see the difference and I'm really impressed by that. Yeah, it's really, uh, it's really amazing to, uh, to get these parents to feel proud of their kids. And it's really amazing to feel these kids figuring out what their talents are because without uh, centers like this, it's, the kids are lost more in the uh, electronics or in the, you know, the, the world of the TV and the YouTube and these things. So these centers really help make the kids focus on their bodies, on their uh, talents, on their souls, and to live their childhood as it should be. Find so, a passion yeah, and it's really, it feels amazing to see the results. And yeah, this is why we do the stage performances, to see the results. Because creativity is important and it's a major True. part of children's life and also True. parents, I guess. So yeah, you're right. And um, you know, speaking of that, uh, Fee Club is doing hard work and a really great work because you guys have to work after working hours sometimes. Uh, you need to open your doors at night because parents cannot bring the kids during the day most of the time. And then you've been observing everything all the um, changes which happen with the children and with the parents. So what is the most impressive thing you notice that how people changing in a positive way around you? Um, well, one of the things that uh, we noticed and uh, it was really notable is that we changed the perspective of art in this, uh, in this country for some people that didn't see it as important as it is. Uh, we know that education is important, we know that schools and universities are important, but sometimes people don't see that there is this talents part or uh, hobbies part. So it was really great that we made this change somehow for some people, uh, to see people that haven't believed in that before, starting to believe that it exists, and not only exists, it's really important. Um, well, what we do in summer, to be honest, is one of the important things that help the kids figure out what their talents is. Because, uh, as we, shall, we were just saying, uh, so the program that we do is the theater program that we work on. Yes. The ballet, gymnastics, drama, piano, all these uh, classes. But what we do in summer is that we put all these together in the summer program mm -hmm. so the kids can come, join, and uh, so in all these classes, uh, they're not really as professional and advanced as the courses that we do um, in the winter time yeah, or the autumn time. As the curriculum time. which you set yes. for the academic year, yeah. Exactly. It's not like uh, on a specific curriculum. It's more like for fun. But at the same time, when kids join us for these classes, they figure out, oh, I like gymnastics more, or oh, I like piano more. So when September comes and we open the door for the courses registrations, they know now what they want to go for and they know what they, their passion is. And this is great, so they can try a little bit of everything and also have exactly. fun. So now you're talking about uh, the summer camp, mm -hmm. which um, mm -hmm. you have in the Fee Club. Yes. And then how long is the summer camp? When did you guys start in summer and when is the last day? We do it usually for uh, two months, July and August, after school. Mm -hmm. uh, so when the schools uh, close their doors, we open our door for these kids. And um, uh, this year we decided to go for themes so each week is about different theme we go like one week about uh, moana we do like mini show yeah uh, it's good to uh, teach these kids a little bit about drama uh, singing we do hip-hop we do zumba uh, we do gymnastics and karate all this under one theme each week it changes 
So this uh, also motivates the kids and inspires them, and uh, it gives them this power of willing to continue to what's coming next. So we did Moana, we did uh, Mexican Coco, uh, we did the Pirates theme, and uh, uh, this uh, week we are doing, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a bit funny, it's a superhero theme. Superhero. Yes. This is great. It's, it's like for girls and boys at the same time, it's nice, and they're so excited about it, to be honest. So what was the favorite um, children's theme so far? Because you had like uh, uh, four weeks already or six weeks of uh, the summer camp? Uh, we had, uh, for the themes, we had like uh, five weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, their favorite was, uh, to be honest, Pirates versus Mermaids. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So the battle is always exciting, right? <laughs> yeah, there was a battle and uh, the script was uh, so much fun because I got the kids to write it themselves. So they named the characters, they wrote the lines, I just gave them the general story and they uh, wrote the lines and they wrote the script. So it was really amazing to give them this opportunity to dig and try to f figure out how the story should flow. And to express themselves. This is exactly. what I've noticed while working with children. Um, we don't always have to give them everything, you know, we just give them the room to explore and then create something, then exactly. the outcome might surprise everyone. Exactly, it was really nice and they enjoyed every single minute of it. So yeah, we hope that they are enjoying it as we are, because we really, uh, the special about the summer camp is that we become like family. We take only a limited number of kids. We take like 20, 25 kids maximum. So we become like, we become like one family. Yeah. And we eat together, we laugh together, we, uh, we, if we are upset, we are upset together, we fix things together, so we really get so much attached and connected, which, is, which feels really great. This, this is what we enjoy the most, to be honest. And that is inspiring. I love visiting Fit Club. Oh, thank you. We <laughs> so, missed you there. We and, hope you um, will visit us again I'm going to join soon. very soon, I hope so. So, speaking of uh, the Fit Club and the teachers, uh, yes. let's talk about teachers. I know that you are grateful, you and Miss Sophia are grateful to so many people who who have been living in Erville, but now yes. they're not here yes. because they had to travel, because you work with a lot of expats, yes, and then sure. the situation with expats that they eventually leave. This is also another experience that we learn through our journey. Uh, we learn from people who come in the Fit Club, teach and leave their fingerprints. Uh, one amazing example that we will never forget is Miss Natalia. Yeah, she's my friend as well, yes. so we all know her. Yeah, <laughs> she's amazing. All of you knows her. It's, it's, uh, she's amazing. She's an amazing person. She's so talented. Uh, she started here as a ballet teacher and Pilates, and then she grew and she did more classes of art, uh, uh, theater art, uh, theater productions. She was such a great helpful for the Fit Club. She was, we really miss her, and if she's watching, I would like to say hi, we miss you so much. Yeah, here. I would like to say hi as well, because she also had program with the Cambridge TV, and she's been my inspiration as well in teaching yoga. <laughs> so. Yes, she's amazing, bless her, and yeah, we really miss her. Uh, we also uh, have Miss Sandra, the gymnastics teacher, who also left a huge fingerprint uh, in the Fit Club, and she also, unfortunately, has left back home. So there are amazing uh, staff members that are coming, uh, leaving something important here in Erbil, and then going back home. But it's amazing to keep them also in our memories all the time. I also know that the Fit Club always keeps its door open for new teachers. If anyone is watching and you're willing to share volunteer or work with the children, you can always contact Gazelle and the Fit Club. it will be amazing Club. to have always new spirits and new souls in the Fit Club. New ideas, new inspiration. So of course. This is also the message which we would like to deliver here. And um, let's talk about your future projects. Now you're busy with the summer camp and sure. it's just a couple of weeks left. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then uh, the new academic year starts, new curriculum. Yes. So what activities are you guys going to have? Which so classes, anything new or exciting? <laughs> Uh, we're doing, uh, as usual, the ballet, gymnastics, piano, karate. Uh, we're also having the aerial yoga classes. We started uh, in the previous show. Uh, we introduced it in like a very simple way, but we're planning to make it planning to make it a little bit like wider this year if we get to do the show. Yep. This year we're working on Peter Pan's show. Okay, that's great. That's yeah, a great story. It, it's amazing. We will try and get these kids to fly, to fly as yeah. Peter Pan <laughs> flies. 
So yeah, it's uh, also challenging, but we hope that it's, uh, if it works, it's going to be really amazing and uh, it's going to be a big show. Uh, we're starting uh, with the uh, scholar year in uh, September. So uh, yeah, in September we're going to have like a, an open day, a registration day. We will start taking kids so we can go ahead with the, with the rehearsals, the um, all the preparations needed for the show. The show should take place in June. Uh, I know it's June 2022, but because the show is big, it needs a lot of work. Yeah, I know, and people think that um, it's just a show, it's just like one hour and a half, but nobody knows what was going on behind the scenes, and then that's an impressive work. We uh, always prepare for surprises, we always do our best to make it special, to make it different, and this is what. And We're gonna um, work on. so I hope everything works out, and I can't wait Thank to see so the show much. in 2022. Thank you so, <laughs> so much. So uh, about the classes for children, which classes do you think are most popular among children? Uh, to be honest, we noticed that uh, last year that uh, the kids after the COVID were really hungry for classes. So thanks God, we could uh, we could fill all our classes, and it was like a huge change how these kids after the COVID they figured out that they need something so they came to us and we could fill gymnastics and ballet and we thought that ballet is the most popular thing then suddenly we feel like gymnastics as well it's that good and then piano is full so I cannot really specify which one is more powerful or more full or more like inquired because um, it's it's they are different. I can't compare them. Each, yeah, yeah. each one is for a different kid, different energy and different passion. Yeah, because like um, in every region, maybe in every country, there is something which is more popular, something which is less popular. But here, as you say, kids are creative, talented and yes, um, bless them. they choose different things. They don't only they stick do. to one thing. That is great. Okay. That is great. So now let's talk about your kids because I know that they are involved in so many activities at the Fit Club and again, they, they are the ones who inspired you to start working with this project. Yes. So, uh, seven years, it's uh, the time when the child can grow into the pretty sure. much adult person. So, uh, could you please share this journey? So when I started the Fit Club, uh, my uh, older daughter was uh, six years old. And uh, yeah, I, I, she, she was my inspiration in the beginning and I really thought that she needs it. The little one was only like uh, two and a half years old, so she was so little to start anything. Um, so yeah, we, I, I just decided to go for that, get her a little bit involved in the, in the activities and in the classes. So when she started, uh, she started with the ballet with yeah. Miss Sophia. When Miss Sophia used to teach uh, ballet for the little ones, and uh, yeah, she grew up in the Fit Club. Uh, she's now 14 years old. So uh, yeah, it was a huge. Uh, it, it had it's a huge impact on her. Uh, at some point, my daughter, her name is Taima, she used to do so many activities at the same time. She used to do ballet, singing, gymnastics. Uh, she participated on most of the shows. She took some parts here or big parts there. Uh, we started with Frozen. It was our first show. And uh, she, you know, Frozen story, little Elsa, little Anna. Yeah. So she's a blonde girl with this blonde hair. So she took Elsa's role as the small one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was really fun for her, and now when she watches herself, she can't stop laughing about it. Um, yeah, so this was her first experience on stage. It this was, is the good memories you guys created, right? It's great, yeah. and we have videos of everything, so it's amazing when your child grows old and yeah, he or she gets to watch themselves, how they were and how much they progressed throughout the years. So the second show in the Fit Club was uh, Rapunzel Tangled. Uh, at that year, that year was really difficult for the Fit Club. It wasn't a good year for Kurdistan in general. Uh, at that year, uh, we uh, we did uh, an audition for the kids, and uh, she was Rapunzel, the main character. So and that was the was second really, time when she got the main role. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, for the first show she wasn't the main role. It was just for like the first scene because Elsa, as a as a, a child, it was as also, a child, yes. Yeah, it was only only the first scene. 
So it was only like two, three minutes on stage. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, but for the second one, yes, she was the main role, uh, which felt really great for me. I was so proud of her. She did really great on stage. Uh, at that time, my little one was watching, and she was also inspired by her sister. So when we did the shows afterwards, we did uh, Aladdin, and we did The Little Mermaid, and uh, the last one was The Lion King, our biggest production. So for the latest three ones, I got my daughters to perform somehow in there, either with ballet or a little bit in drama or a little bit in gymnastics. Uh, it's amazing, as you just said, to see your kids on stage expressing themselves, having this confidence of standing up on this stage in front of 2,000 audience without the fear. Uh, without, of course, there is a little bit of fear, but of after one minute or two minutes, you just forget about yourself and you start enjoying yourself, and this is how the kids are feeling. So it's really great to see all this happening on stage. Uh, as a parent, it's a different feeling than as also a manager. Exactly. So club. now you are truly living your passion. So yes. you are on both sides. That's why you can understand parents better. And then this is an advantage, right? Yes, exactly. And this is how I try to... Uh, I think uh, having my kids part of the Fit Club gave me the experience to be a parent in the Fit Club, not only a manager. Exactly. So this is how I, ca I know how to advise these parents what to do or what not to do for their kids uh, from their perspective, exactly. not from a businesswoman's perspective. It's totally different. Yeah. And uh, because we have this passion, me or Madame Sophia, we know that we need to work uh, we, to build this center upon our passion. Cause, because you can't get the kids involved in like only a business place or you will lose them because the kids feel it when it's uh, real emotions in there or you're just doing it for business. Yeah, that's true. That's true, especially anything which involves children. Exactly. They have to understand that you are truly passionate about what you're doing. Yeah, they, they just blow our mind how clever they are, how they understand uh, your emotions, even with, no matter how much you try to fake it or but lie no. about it, they feel it. They feel the warmth, they feel if this person doesn't really like them or if this person is only doing his or her duty just for the sake of, of business or are they doing it because of this warmth or care inside them. Yeah, and then I think it's uh, everyone should consider while working with children. Yes, exactly. They cannot lie. And uh, look, uh, the shows, annual yes. shows. How about the audition? You mentioned the, that uh, yes. there is an audition before uh, each True. show. How do you choose the uh, children for the roles and the characters? Uh, we try to do like two or three classes for free for kids who would like to audition for us uh, for these shows. So uh, we try to do classes, like a preparation classes. We announce it on our Facebook and Instagram. So if your kids are willing to have a part, please don't forget to follow our pages to stay updated. Uh, so yeah, they, uh, we give them these three or four classes uh, of preparation, and then we give them uh, some lines that they need to practice at home based on what they have learned with us or based off, uh, on what they've watched on TV maybe uh, or seen theater maybe before. Yeah. And they, they come to us and there will be the judges we have a music teacher, a ballet teacher, gymnastic teacher, uh, basically all our teachers are judges and we start giving marks. We don't know these kids and we don't know anything about their background. Even when my daughter was part of the audition uh, at some point, I go out of the room just to make sure that the judges are neutral. So yeah, they go in this room, they audition uh, in groups, we uh, audition them with the lines that we have given them. Uh, the person that audition needs to know how to sing, dance, uh, a little bit of course. We help them learn uh, uh, deeper or uh, we, uh, we get them to progress. They don't have to be professional about it, but we just want to make sure that they have the passion for it and uh, that they have a little bit of a talent for it. Once they have it, we work for them to uh, make it more advanced and make it more like progressed. So, 
not only children who attend the classes at the Fee Club participate in, in the annual show. Any child can come to the Fee Club and say, hey, I would like to take a part in this show. Yes, of course. Any child, even if he's not yet a student in the Fee Club, can become a student with us. And we're happy to teach them, work on them, get them to progress, get them to, uh, to learn more. Uh, each kid in his uh, own like space, so if the kid wants to do drama, we work with him or her on drama. Same with the singing, same with the uh, uh, ballet or gymnastics. So yeah, he or she doesn't have to be part of the Fit Club already or have done any experience before. Yeah. We can have beginners. We work with them till they become like more advanced. And as you said, as soon as they have passion and they are interested in this particular show, they're welcome to join. Okay. Um, how about children who cannot afford um, you know, taking classes at the Fee Club. But they mm. got chosen as a characters in your show through the audition. Do, they ha do you have cases like that? Yes, we've had many cases like that. And uh, it's either that we study the, the situation of the child and uh, his or her parents. And uh, according to that, upon that, we make our decision. Uh, sometimes we sponsor kids. Like we had uh, some kids that were attending some ballet classes, mm -hmm. they get to come for free because we studied their file and we thought that they deserve the chance to take part of it and we know that their parents cannot afford it. And uh, we have some cases that when, when we think that this parent, uh, this kid wants the chance but his parent can afford only like a little bit of the yeah. fees. So we do give a huge discount in that case just to make sure that this kid and his talent are going to be worked on and going to be seen on stage. So that's a lot of dedication. It's a lot of help to the society as well. This, and is, this is why great. passion is important in this part. And this is great. So because a lot of uh, people, a lot of parents and then children, they might, you know, not consider coming to the Fit Club because they say it is a commercial project anyway. Yes. But then if you have the if you have this um, part which you can support the talented students, then everyone should try. If yes. you feel that you are passionate about singing, dancing drama, gymnastics, just welcome to the Fit Club. We all highly recommend it. And you might get some, let's say, little tiny scholarship. <laughs> yes, and we will help and we don't let usually kids down. We always find a way uh, to get them to do something, even if it's something small. And that is impressive. And uh, thank, you. thank you so much for that. Uh, let's talk about volunteering. How you done any volunteering through uh, the time working with the Fit Club? Uh, I, well, the Fit Club has done uh, some volunteering work uh, like teaching classes uh, for free or going to camp sometimes, sending our stuff there. Uh, we did also some uh, like shows, like some performances on some uh, national occasions. Mm -hmm. So we did some work. When we get the chance, we never say no. Yeah. Also, you shared a lot with me that um, your parents and uh, your dad in particular supported you a lot and he shared a lot of wisdom with you while growing. And even right now, he's supporting you a lot. So, and you said that you don't mind sharing this with our audience. So, would you please share that beautiful words which your dad has uh, to say? There's okay. one specific thing that my dad always said to me and uh, I can never forget. He always tells me that we reap what we sow. Uh, which means that uh, uh, when you do good things, it always comes back to you in a specific way. Uh, it doesn't have to come back to you immediately. Or it doesn't have to come back to you from the same person that you have done good to. But uh, God never forgets and he always uh, pays us back somehow. So, uh, yeah, he always tells us to, uh, to plant good seeds so we can harvest uh, good uh, fruits and uh, uh, from good trees at the end. Uh, yeah, this al always inspires me and tells me that uh, what I'm doing now with my work, with my family, with my child, even with my practical life, uh, it always has to be around love. Because uh, when you spread love, you get it back, you get it back and uh, you get it back multiplied. Right? Yes, yes. Exactly. Same as the garden, you plant a seed, but then you have the whole tree. So Ex same with love. Exactly. Same with passion, same with dedication. And exactly. this is beautiful. This is really impressive. And Thank you. that's a beautiful message. Thank you for sharing that. Thank because I know so also it's very personal. 
you know? Yes, it is, it is. But that's how it's also this problem is all about. <laughs> in my head, and it's really nice to share it with you today. Thank you for asking. So yeah, that was one uh, piece of wisdom which you shared, but also I know that you have a really good piece of advice to share with our audience, with our parents and then teachers who are watching right now, and uh, students as well. Uh, uh, for, so for the kids, um, I know that these days are different than the days that we have uh, lived in our time. There are so many electronics in their hands. It's the COVID also that stops them from socializing. But let's try and uh, let's take the vaccine, go out of our houses and uh, get our kids to socialize with the kids of their age, not only stay home, isolated because this is going to affect them somehow in the future. For the parents, I will just advise them to sit with their kids, give them the love because uh, they deserve uh, this family love and uh, again they deserve to live their childhood so give them this chance and never waste it. Yeah, as you mentioned earlier, the time which you give to children yes. is more important than the things you can give to them, right? Exactly, so, exactly. And you as a parent can confirm that. Spend, uh, I do work, but I never forget that I need time for my kids. So even if you are a working parent, remember that there is a specific time of the day that needs to be dedicated for your kid because they need you. Um, it, it, it plants something inside them when you are around, but when gotcha. you are not, or when you leave them to uh, just stay by themselves, it's going to leave this emptiness inside them, which is going to affect their life in the future. So yes, give your kids the time and uh, they're going to grow up at some day. So you don't want to miss that time when they were children and you missed spending this time with them. So because little kids, it's the opportunity for parents to enjoy this time with them. Exactly, exactly. All right, Gazal, this was such a heartwarming uh, meeting, interview, and I hope the show turns out nicely as well. Thank you so much for visiting my home. Thank you so much for having <laughs> uh, me today. Cambridge TV, beautiful kitchen here. Thank you, Cambridge TV. Thank you to all the team that worked here. It was really a nice time I spent here. Uh, we have worked with Canvas before, so we're like one family. So I would like to thank everyone and the management as well. Uh, yeah, and thank you for your time. Thank you for inviting me. I'm and, really honored. And thank you. I was really, really happy to see you. And I hope uh, we will meet soon in some shows, you know, created together Cambridge TV and the Fig Club. Of course, we will always uh, have pleasure to do it. Thank you, Thank you so much, Anna. Thank you for watching this episode of the program My Home, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.